PC'd completely. There's a hollow shell within that man. But Icebox, now, our decider map, a little bit of an interesting one to come out for both sides. Shadownet doing the right thing, turning everybody off. Boy, that's cap. He is to be all good. He's long gone. All right, Vicon's taking the safe route and disconnecting, looking to reconnect into this game. Vicon has reconnected. We're we looking to go. Ah, here, Icebox. As we said, 0-3 for Shadownet. They haven't won a single game with this new composition, with this new roster on this new map. Well, have fun is called. We're now live into it. Pistol, we're out of sight of map. Shadownet to the defense. And Shays again to the attack side as we iterated. All things to come out. We're going to look to spot a player. Double Sheriffs coming out from the duelists here. A little bit of an interesting swap up. Vesta, swapping it up and starting it off on a profit. We play it towards the top, until Sarah be tossing up the poison orb, spots out Gunma, needs to spot out another player. Toxic screen is going to go down towards his B site, until Sarah. Actually has a hole in it, there's a little bit of a weird one here with this type of wall. Sheriff. Out, shock dart in. Del Cero goes a little bit haywire. That's the drops the paint shells. That spike down at B. Yeah, for Shadow Net. Vesta. Oh, Mari actually to land the shots. Vesta One trying to find remaining. it from Snowman. It's Chax to land it. Looking for another on a Vicon. He's just playing peekaboo, but he is getting hunted right now. Vicon against three members left. of Shadow Net. 30 seconds left. We can see, bang, shot, Baki. Duh. Uh, there's Dropped the first round of Shadow Net. In uh, a little bit of a weird form, double Sheriff coming out from the Duelists. And we're going to be seeing another pause already. Pistol claimed by Shadow Net. A technical pause to come in. A little bit of fly by the map here. It's interesting to see Vesta able to start that one off. Very nice here. Or side down in it. But still wait to, of course, have our technical issues expire. We get to talk a little bit more about Icebox from a perspective, I guess, of a team like SJs. As we said, they took it 13-1 against Villains. They took it... Very convincing fashion. Villains looked out of sorts on that map after such a commanding first game. We're commanding game. This match, as we said, all up to both of these teams. As we said, SJ is, I imagine, either disbanding on LF1 at the end of the season because Profit's gone to Villains and shadowing it. They're core five for the entire season. They've been shied away from a few of the top teams. They took Bliss in very quick terms and then lost in very quick terms. The reverse sweep to come in. We have just lost Viacon. Where is it? In here typing in chat. Wondering what's going on. But as we said, Shadownet almost, we're not quite in this top eight. Gonna need a little bit more work. Vashay's a bit of a come together roster being injected in here to the course, uh, Autumn Cup after a, uh, a very interesting result on the map. Oh, sorry, in the Evo season, I believe. Ashes were one of those rosters to be injected from the Evo season. Apparently, waiting on a Viacon return, of course. Apologies uh, for all these technical issues. There's bound to be some when it's, you know, all run online. Wait to the day we see Land's return. 
Think of that. Legend stage at LAN. I wait to see it. Hopefully I'm the one to cast it. If not, I hopefully get to see crazy games happen. It's always good to see y'all getting around this Valorant action, of course. And props to you all in chat that have joined us this evening. Why a one-sided first series? Not what we expected out of Bliss, especially considering their two stand-ins. But now to the second map, the second series. The Cider here. Shadownet vs Shays. Shadownet, this means the world to them. They've shown time and time again that they're willing to improve. We saw them lose bind, of course, against a team like Bliss in the VOT Open Qualifiers. Now, they showed it hot against Shays in that first map. And then Shays showed them a little bit of their weaknesses, especially on Haven. It's very interesting to see, especially we didn't get to look at the picks all too much, but that of Eshe's not rocking with a Sage. Trying to go to B was their downfall because they didn't have anything to wall off the util. That in it. A little bit of a pre game huddle, a bit of a technical pause huddle. You can all see them crouching around the bear. It's currently waiting on Vicon. Been waiting for quite a while, I have to say. Not every day you get to see balls like that. Delamari. The baker's on the phone with him right now. Bit of banter, it would seem, for both these teams. Even for the technical issues, such as Micon currently not with us. The teammate's still. Willing to get around it. We await Vicon's return. Of course, if you don't know why we have profit in, of course, Eshe's the roster lock for the Legend stage for Autumn Cup. We kind of have to play with profit. He's been playing with. Eshe's this entire season. He's only just recently been picked up by the villain's side. And I have to say, a hefty pickup for villains. Again, sad to see Orange Pearl go. Such a key player in, well, villain's success recently. He's been doing a ton of prac behind the scenes. Chats. Warm up his aim. Yeah, as I was saying, Orange Pearl... A key player in Villain's recent results, but Prophet, I imagine, is coming to a good home because, well, he has been doing bits here for Ashes in the Autumn Cup so far. We are still awaiting a technical issue. Still awaiting Vicon's return. As you said, Esho is one of these come together rosters, at least in my eyes. They haven't, you know, been under a big org. They haven't been under any crazy circumstances. They've just a group of mates that have come together, qualified for one of the most prestigious tournaments at the moment, and at least in the Oceanic region. Of course, you've got the VOT, and then you've got Autumn Cup Legends. It's where it's all at, it's where all the high. Octane Valorant action is, and of course, hopefully, we get to see a few more teams at that top level really start to, you know, get around Autumn Cup, because we had Mind Freak last season, we haven't seen Wildcard, we haven't seen Order, we haven't seen any of those top rosters really join in, but hopefully they'll be watching at home, hopefully they're more than willing to get amongst it next season, of course, they wanted to hide... I imagine a ton of strats or qualifiers for VOT. But there's only one team that can go through overseas to the last chance qualifiers. And that is if you're getting flown out to the last chance qualifiers. Need to get going in the next five minutes. Rose is letting them know. They don't have much time left. If 
It's not back in the next 4v5. Uh, sorry, in the next 5 minutes, they're going to 4v5 anyway. Seem they're still allowed to play. Maybe. Vicon's not back. Eshes have agreed to 4v5. And well, Vicon, probably not the player you want to be losing. He's been popping off a treat, especially on a map like Haven. Saw him go absolutely massive. Again, we're going to throw it to a commercial break, but I'd like to talk a bit about the teams here. Talk a little bit about the results. Talk a little bit about what we expect to see, hopefully, from playoffs, because I've heard we've got some big things, and hopefully look to put in a little bit more big things playoffs, because Autumn Cup... Of course, it wouldn't be possible as well without our lovely sponsors. Vodafone, LG OLED, and LG Ultra Gear. Of course, we can take it through our lovely sponsor, Reed, while we wait. LG OLED TVs. Not only are they G-Sync capable, but of course, they have self-lit pixels, dynamic console refresh rates, resolutions up to 4K with reduced motion blur and stuttering in-game. LG Ultra Gear, powerful range of gaming displays integrated with high-performing functions to offer enhanced immersion for anyone in any sort of environment. Of course, you can check it all out at lg.com forward slash nz. And we're still on the hunt for our Vodafone MVP award. 150 New Zealand dollars up for grabs. Or the player that we believe has played the most insane throughout the season. I'm looking at players like Vicon who have left us. Chax. Vesta. We've been key fraggers this whole season long. Baki to joining the ranks of Shadownet. For the Autumn Cup. And our props, I have to say from Shadownet, you know, Baki, a, a recent addition of this roster, at least in terms of the last few months. He did have RX7 beforehand. My props, the Barky filling in RX7's role he, uh, way, way better than RX ever could. I went on Viacon. We know how he's going. It's a good question. As we still await, and as I was saying, yeah, Shadownet injecting Barky into this roster. Ton of star potential seen from his jet. Recently, fully signed player under the Shadownet banner. Of course, if you don't know Shadownet. Scoreboard at 1-1. 1-0. -1. -1 -1 -1 -1 -net. Not all too great on Icebox. He's on his way. Might go to a quick commercial break, I feel. Guys... I feel like we've wasted enough time though. I was gonna say, he's gonna come back as we throw it. So we're not gonna throw it yet. You know, if we expected a bit of a longer break, then maybe we are just waiting here. Waiting to play the game. Waiting. Show up. Down on it. So now he's out for Vesta. A little bit of an interesting purchase. We've seen a few teams win that first pistol round. We saw it actually from Nebula on this map, on this side. Bring out the Ares once they won the pistol. Going live in 30 seconds. All right, we have confirmation from Rosa whether Vicon connects or not. He will come when he comes, it would seem. So we can now breathe a sigh of relief. We will get to see some gameplay again. Apologies for the delay. We're live now. Good luck, have fun. Vicon has unfortunately departed from the server as we go live back into it. Dax just trying to find the energy. Suss it out. Here we 
go. Wide back into it. Shannon out with a pistol. Be forcing back into this one immediately. The shot comes out from Nicholas. Offit's taken extremely low. Here he's from Vesta. Take flight. Our drone. Oh, this is such unfortunate timing. Calamari. Pulling out the Al drone when he probably didn't need to do so. Delterra needs to be cautious of a player in kitchen. A player approaching him. Delterra not going to be alive right now as he needs to find all of these shots. He finds one on a Mikolas. Marshall Spike comes out. Down, Spike down at B. Profit. Going to be taking it. You can see the body block. Aplo defends his brother man. To wait for Vika on the return, I imagine. There won't be any knives from Shadownet. Unless it's to a player that's not actually disconnected. Zaplo. Up through the tube. Vax. Marshall out. Turned his head. And be losing it. Very nice shot from Aplo. 30 seconds left. A doable 1v2. He does have the Sheriff. Ares and a Marshal in play for Shadownet. Let's see. 12 seconds. Now turn to 10. 10. Seconds left. Aplo. Now. Player standing. Vesta. Gonna find it and... Weapon here. Now Shadownet. They've secured the round. Vesta. Let's see Vicon. Even though Vicon's not actually here. Oh, oh, Vesta. Oh. Vicon. It's not actually there. Dot. I can't believe it. He actually there. survived. Vesta didn't even kill him. Oh, Vesta. Oh, no. That's. Oh, uh, that's. That's just. That's just unfortunate. Maybe he's. You know, being very sportsman, like he didn't actually kill him, just wanted to get the dinks on. Come. Yes. You can see. The Marshall come out from Del Cero. Early. Our drone goes out. Shadow can play with confidence here. Chats. Playing from the front peak of the belt. Seshay's really using. The guns now to try and work this round out. Because all they really need to do is fight a man advantage and they're in a bit of a better position than of course this round would dictate. 4v5. Not what you want to see from any team. I hate to see it. Big comes out. Vesta playing underneath. And Vesta. We're we'll playing with the Spectre with the help of his teammates. Poison Orb goes out. Spike down at A. Everybody dead. And Shadownet to kill themselves a third round here. Do they have to wait out the time completely? Are they not? I suppose they have to kill him. There's no way they wait the clock completely. We let him live for more time. Oh, okay. God bless. God bless the Shadownet side. They're going to give him time for his internet to come back. Vicon might need a bit of Vodafone in him. Of course. So. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. Bucky's given all the time up. You can see he's the head. Does he have the shot? Bucky. Does he do it? Oh, Calamari's already stolen it. Yoik. Picked up by Calamari. Third round picked up by Shadownet. As they hold on to their icebox streak of rounds that they found themselves in. But the side of Esche is still without Viacon, it's still with minimal hope. And it's not great if you're anyone here in the circumstance. Shadownet, they just want to play a full 5v5 to qualify. They just want to qualify for the position that doesn't really feel like they're getting robbed. Shadownet. Changing up the style of comp. Jax. Starting off a pick on Aplo. On the Prophet, sorry. 
As they start to try and take his B site, but Calamari's got it on lock. He's got a second on a gun, Matsu. One player left here. Yeah, Aplo. Toxic Orb goes up. 66 points of HP. Spikes dropped. And then the Shadow Net. That's going to be... Alt Orb picks it up. Naplo not going to budge a muscle. He's stuck underneath this cable car. Stuck underneath. Stuck at long. Barky going to be spotting him out. Bomb. Bot goes out. And there we go. Zotero collects the final kill. We await to see who... And see the, the charge. Calamari wants it. They're waiting a ton of time here. 30 seconds left. They're all gonna surround him. Group picture, surely. There's no, we don't have a sova. Oh, sorry, we don't have a senti. Satchel out. Put a satchel on him for decoration. Takes him to half points of HP. And you hate to see it. They all gather around. Ten seconds left. I don't, I don't even know what to, I don't even want to know. Thank you, thank you, Jax, for covering this. Uh, I don't even know what kind of act that is. They're all going to walk away. They're going to let him live. That's going to be Shadow Net taking a fourth round now on the board. I've just been informed again. I can see your chat flicky. There is uh, a little bit of a delay, guys, but I'm still reading, of course, just to make sure there's no issues. Uh, not killing him means he can't buy. Okay, thank you, flicky. Uh, again... Shout out to Flicky. Uh, you handsome, handsome man. 4-0 for Shadow Net. They're feeling cute. They're feeling talented. They're feeling handsome. That's holding. Bit of an off angle. They've let Viper up through mid. Nicholas is dashing over, though. Jax, a shot onto the operator player. They've let Gumma through mid. And they've let him up through kitchen. This could be a disastrous... Position here. Calamari's not going to expect him in spawn. Gunma has snuck up. Wall goes up. Vesta, though, tags it and frags it. Zips it in a body bag. First up a pot. It's profit. Find the kill on a Vesta. It avoids the showstopper, too. Very nicely played by profit. You see Aplo guarding his teammate. Prophet has popped the Empress. Zotero up in kitchen. Oops, up a poison orb. Left. You see, Aplo's playing very around his teammate. He's playing very cautious. Crossfire. Put up by Bucky and Jax. Bucky spots it. Pete comes through. Aplo. Sorry, it's Prophet going to be taking it. Aplo now and Prophet look to go Plant towards his B site to plant the, the spike. And look to go down. 1v. Sorry, 2v2. Here. We might catch Aplo on the dart. Delterra not going to actually Roll find up. his man. Hunter's Fury being popped here by Aplo. Could be good things. Finds out Chax. Doesn't tag up Delterra. He's in a clutch situation now. He needs to check all his corners. Does he not look at this one, though? He's not going to check a profit. Finds a first on the board here for Eshes in a 4v5. This is crazy circumstance. Eshes in a 4v5. Are able to find themselves a first round here and... Off the side of Shadow Net, their economy a little bit tested. Get out of my way! Mob goes up, get out of my way. Knives available for Chax. The knives of Nicholas. Wide across Nicholas, his screen goes grey. Chax takes him out. Vesta. I feel the Phantom. Not every day you get to see Vester off the Phantom. Especially on Raze. 
profit. Takes it. Oh my god, the Vesta. Takes two. In return, it's Aplo with the Operator, the 1v4. Of course, Vicon still no longer with us. Thought it was just a reconnect, disconnect, Sinet situation, but he's gone completely. Chatternet, I have to give them props as well for giving him all the time to reconnect. Aplo drawing out the clock here. Yeah. Calamari is going to be taking out Aplo. Spike goes down at eight, and this is where they have 30 seconds left. Vicon's still in spawn. You can see. Just kill him, please. He's re-downloading Valorant. There's no way he's actually re-downloading Valorant. Ten seconds left. Rosa doesn't want them to take advantage. See, this is a look. I I have to give props to Shadownet. They're doing everything that they can to remain as fair as possible, considering a four v five. Rosa telling him that they're not allowed to kill him. And Shannon, they're respecting that. Alt orbs, you know, alt points not going to be picked up yet. And Bashe is really wanting to play this 4v5. Bucky, a little bit disappointed. But, well, have some cake, Bucky. Cheer up a little bit. Over towards this A site they're looking to go. Vesta. Every day we get to see him on the sniper. The operator to come out here. Looking for a first shot on the apple. He isn't going to catch him as he crosses as he drops Bucky. Drops one. Vesta. Going to have to back off to safety. Chax. An impressive shot in the Mikolas. The Algerone flies. Gunma. Ooh. Gunma. Oh, Gunma, my lord! Finds Vesta 2. 2v2. Two low HP bars. Viper's pit popped. Calamari. Ooh, okay. Double bounce. That was default. That's a pretty cool spike. Uh, sorry, pretty cool dart if you wanted to know. Calamari, he sees the Toxic Orb go up middle here. He knows that it's a fake it, A. That Viper's Pit was just a ruse. Thirty seconds left. Dell and Calamari. You're going to hear the Spike Plant come out. Aplo tries to put it down, but he's going to be shot right of it. Calamari. The bit of a prediction one. Notero walks up, shot as soon as he sees the glove, as soon as he sees the bullets. And sixth round on the board here for Shadownet. This time, they don't have to wait out the time. They can just defuse in the open completely. And six to one. Vicon still hasn't come back to us. And it's really unfortunate close, I guess, to Eshe's season. Losing... A pivotal player in such a pivotal series. This is, as we said, for playoffs. The teams are allowed to 4v5. If they're presented with an alternative option. As stated by Rosa in the chat. Shays, they just wanted to play it out 4v5. I don't know. I feel like they're not really... Deserving this victory, then it's, I guess, out of their hands. They can't really do much. No, Mikolas, out of his hands, it's in the Vesta's head. Dalamari shot. Jacks miss. Knives. Mikolas this time. It's not Gunma with the shots. Two v three. Yeah. Spike goes down. Bucky, Delcero to read sake. Aplo caught on the dark. He's going to be spotted. Here, yeah, drop shot here from Bucky. Heals himself to full. Now just has to deal with one more player. Mikolas, 15 HP. Res to Vesta. Playing the high line up on top. He's going to miss the shots. Missed opportunity. Bucky with a 1v3. 
Sorry, 2v. 3. 7 to 1 here for Shadownet. Shadownet. Again, as Baki said, this is just a shit situation, I guess, for both teams. Still, Shadownet giving props where props is due. Still Tero, letting Prophet know he hit a banger. Wall goes up. Ashe is... Might just want to end this one as soon as possible. Shadownet, they definitely want to end this one as soon as possible. And so demoralizing to see. Rotate straight to this A site. It's just going to be A, I feel. For these takes, they don't have smokes from Vicon to set up. For the take to be Prophet. Oh my god, now it's Baki. Last player standing, it's Del Terro. Aplo. It's found Baki. Or Baki. We call him Baki. And that's going to be a flawless taken for Eshes for their second round. Seven two, Eshes are able to take away a four v five round. You can see that even despite being at a deficit like this, they still want to play and they still want to persist. You can't really blame them if they're able to steal away rounds like that off of Shadownet. Then it's to their credit. Toxic screen, screen goes down. Baki, a beautiful one on to Nicholas. Profit. Jumping across. First and practicing his B hops, maybe. And I got Calamari. Wall out here and there. Top of the site for the moment. And shock darts pepper in. They take him. Chax takes another. Looking for profit, flicks on and flicks beautiful. We now have to wait a whole 50 seconds, man. Again, a props to our lovely admin team behind the scenes. Of course, Shannon it. I've been told they can't take advantage to take Viacon out. So we're going to have to wait the entire 30 seconds. And I want to know how everyone's night's been. Let me know. This is not how I expected Icebox to go, especially with the results of Airshades, with the results of Shadownet. They're currently 0-3 in this map and might be gifted their first win here. How high can we go to see Vicon's head? Ten seconds left. Imagine if you could get up here somehow. That's such a crazy angle in a spawn. I'm going to have to be fully weighted out. Shadownet, gonna be claiming a flawless round here. Knife mid. That's an idea I like to see. Shadownet. Oh, no, Prophet doesn't want to do it. This isn't any match fixing involved. It's just an unfortunate turn of events here. Vicon has just dropped his net, and, well, Eshes, they don't have any tactical or technical pauses left. Can't really get a fill in. Revealing area, no knife mid, Prophet calls it off. I thought it was a good idea. Might get to see rounds go by a little bit quicker. I guess, though, Shadowed it. I think knifing is going to have to be tested. Shadowed it. Can hold down this B site. There's two players here. They're selling a fake, potentially, Chax. Might be cautious of Prophet. Prophet turns tail, but so does Chax. Chax rips his head clean off. 2v3, make it 2v2. Gunma. Starting to nail them. My god, Gunma. My lord, man. This guy's kind of clean with it. 
Jax. What's he expect Gunmer in this position? Oh, this is so, so unfortunate. And we get a third person perspective for Gunmer. Let's take him out. Third round on the board. Last round in the half. And oh well, Shay's last round of the half. And take a third on the board. Not what you expected it to see in a 4v5, and what you expected to see of a situation like this. And again, a props to the teams for being such great sports about it. It's just a rough situation. Shadownet, they're not doing anything too crazy. They're not giving it up. They're still trying to play the game for the side of SJs as well. Gunma has been playing the game very well. So far, we've seen him hit some crazy, crazy shots. Terra on the other side of this toxic screen. It goes down. He's going to be spotting holding for Gunma. Pulls out the pistol because he's run out of bullets in his main. El Tero. Actually going to be taking out Gunma. The pistol. Drops the snake's bite. And now him and Baki have got some work to do. Hold it down. We've got Vicon back. Spray comes in. Baki going to be taken out for off of it. Del Tero going to be taken in the meantime though. Mikolas and Aplo. See Vicon return and... Hope is instilled into them. They've dropped him a gun. This is a proper 3v3. We've got Vicon back. Calamari doesn't expect the player up in kitchen. Mikolas has been spotted. Two players towards the snowman. Both duelists. 30 seconds. The spike is not going down. Chats. Now's the shot on the Vicon. He's going to be unfortunately falling. Shot from Calamari. Mikolas. Now 13, Helch, he to lose to Vesta. But we have Vicon back. We have him finally returns. Eshe's thanking their lucky stars. Shadownet. Now, the true test is this second half. Eshe's. This is not the way they want to go out. So we have Vicon return. Do we see him move? Bob your head. Vicon, yes, you have... Come back to us. He has returned. We now have a full 5v5, but Shadownet, after such a long time, taking a ninth round, they took themselves a very sneaky little scoreboard lead in this half. It's now to test both sides again. We get to see the game played in its full extent. Shadownet now to the attack side. SJ's unfortunately down to a deficit. They're going to need to pull out all the stops here. Let's deny Shadownet the opportunity of a fourth, fourth place berth into the playoffs. Push from Gunman to come in. Pings out. They know where Gunmer is the moment. Jump peaked. I mean, Gunmuck spots three there. Very nicely timed. Toxic screen goes down. But this is where Shadownet start to play numbers. Start to play a bit of a cheeky little rotate to come in. Profit is holding that rotate line, but no sheriff shots landed. Here's the call to action over at this A site. You can see players starting to shift, but they've faked it yet again. Vesta sends out the paint shells for some good measure. They've called the Sova over. Vicon, maybe a little bit out of sorts after a little bit of a crazy play. Algeron comes out, and that is now call to be. Spike will go down with the help of the Sage Wall. Peppering bullets into it. Vicon just trying to set up for his teammates. It's a 5v5 retake here in the pistol. Toxic. Orb goes down. Snake Spite. Deltero spent all his time learning these. Vesta still on the lurk. Over towards middle. Shax. Night Knight hits a shot. Snake Spite takes out Vicon. A few bullets come out here. Aplo takes two. 
players here. Last player oh, they still have post plant positioning. Aplo now 1v3. Calamari to reload. Calamari to bait with the classic shots. Pete comes in. Aplo taken by Telcero in the ends. Tenth on the board. Double digits here for Shadownet. And we now have still a long road for SJs and Pistol was what we needed to see for them to start it. You can see on the scoreboard here, Shax 12 and 8. He didn't have, I have to say, an all too great of a series so far. But he's starting to show form here on Jet. Maybe a little bit loose, a little bit calm. And I have to say for both of these teams, keeping calm while their backs are against the wall and Bombot comes out and Vicon going to be spotted in the tube. That's the Marshall Vesta. Going to hold this push. He knows that Eshe's like to get aggressive. Though they're just going to play for default. Vesta able to find the first and the second. Gun mo Vicon spotted. Enemy killed. That's a nice shot delivered by Chax. Two players left to find. It's Aplo and it's Prophet. It's Prophet with the Marshall and it's Aplo with the classic. Prophet? That's going into sight. Bucky sees over it. Apple are going to be spotted at range. Tracks with a beautiful one. 11 now on the board for the side of Shadownet. Not the way Shays wanted to go out, but of course, this is really their testing around here. Do they still have what's in them on Icebox here? Gun rounds to come in. Shadownet. It's going to be Spectres, Vandal for Vesta. Marshall shots to come in from Chax, potentially. The Bicon redemption arc. It's the Eshe's redemption arc. It's a bit of an anime turn of events after being kicked down so many rounds in a row. Nicholas trying to start it off with a bit of a bang. Dulcero is going to expect Prophet to push. He knows Eshe's like to get aggressive and... Shadownet can just play for this default position. After taking that kill at B, they might just look to go to it. All goes up at A. Keep the players at bay. Vicon. The player to uh, return to us. Episode 2 Radiant. I love to see it. Wall goes up. Barky goes for the plant. Vicon. Does have two smokes to work with. Does have a paranoia two spots out. Bucky. Isn't going to find the shots. Aplo. Now, the rest of his teammates. It's a 4v5. This time in the read sake. Everybody here and present willing to go for this defusal. Shadownet. They holding on by the skin of their teeth. Vesta starts it off with a crucial two. Looking for a little bit more though. Nicholas. Able to get away with it. Tracks up on top of the high box. Marshall shot. Missed the flick. Missed on Aplo, but he's taken low. Shock dart lands. Another to the point blank. Calamari with a dunk. 12. Now on the board for Shadownet. And again, unfortunate seems. Vicon back, but it's still match point for Shadownet. They're looking to claim their playoff berth here. Vershays looking to fall the fifth. One round is left between Shadownet. And the victory, it feels almost bittersweet after such a strong start to this season to a rough close to and now our decider around. If SJs want to stay alive, they want to stay for this first kill. Jack's already starting it off with a bang or more players to deal with. Right out. Jax has spotted Nicholas with the dart. That's a very nicely played push. Now to go through that smoke. Two players left. Hunter's Fury. Gonna be sent deep by Aplo. Trying to hunt for Chax. Dolcero flies onto Nicholas. Gunman's already disconnected. He's feeling the hurt. He's feeling disheartened. Spike will go down. No faith in Aplo. It would seem everybody just leaving. Aplo behind. And pings come out. It's a shot to find. It's Shadownet taking a 